Hi guys, it's William. Uh, today we'll be talking about the uh, Evoluent Vertical Mouse 4. So here I have with me the box itself, and I bought this from NCIX. I price matched it, and I think I got the mouse for around $80. That's $80 Canadian. Um, the mouse comes packaged like this. This is the original package. Nothing fancy. Uh, they claim it to be a environmentally responsible packaging so that's why they're using this cardboard box right now now if you open up the box there you see that it comes with pretty bare bone stuff such as the phone it's the mouse was wrapped in the cd which contained the driver this is already outdated by the way there's a 4.2 version of the same driver that's already out so check out the web page okay and uh, there is also the instruction manual, which is, I guess, a page of stuff that tells you how to hold the mouse. Okay, it also tells you what happens, how to install it, and also potential troubleshooting. And there it is, the website, evoluent.com, so you can find the troubleshooting guides and also the latest driver update for the mouse. So on to the mouse itself, because there's nothing else inside. The mouse, here it is. So this mouse is covered in matte black. It's um, it's kind of similar to a material used by uh, my deaf adder here. It's not excessively smooth, still got some texture to it, but not exactly plasticky as other, as like a, say for example a PS3 controller or something like that. And um, if you can see here, the mouse has a chrome finish here on where you rest your thumb. And on top of that, there's a button. There's also another button on the bottom. So once again, there's a top and there's a bottom button for you to press. So that when you rest your thumb there, you probably go back or forward if you like. On the other side, there is um, your usual assortment of buttons here, except flipped vertically, obviously. So this is the mouse, that's the right click, and that's the additional button you can use for something else. And there is the mouse wheel, along with the click. Now there is no tiltable wheels in this mouse, and you know, I don't think it's actually required because there are so many buttons here anyways. And on top of that, you can see clearly here that there is a toggle button here. So let me just hold my camera differently. So this one goes up, this one goes down. So you can click on these this strip here, up, down. Now what these do is that they control the scroll rate of the mouse. So you can see that the green lights is going up as I hold hold the button, and it's going down as I press the lower button here. Okay, and essentially once again that tells you how fast you're moving your mouse. You could go zoom across the screen. Or you could go super slow if you're drawing. I mean, if you ever use it. So uh, beside the buttons, there is also the glowing logo. Now, unlike the Razer mouse which I have beside me, the logo lights. Uh, I don't think there's an option to turn it off, so it stays on. But then again, it's not really much of a hassle because you know when you're holding it, it's not really heating up the mouse in general, and it's not getting in the way. So let's look on the bottom here. So on the bottom there, because it's a fairly big mouse, you get fairly big accompanying mouse pad as well. Thick on the top, on the, on the bottom, and there's a little small tip on the side there, I guess, for stability. So you can you can see it pretty well that's protruding outward a little bit, just from my uh, side view here. And this is signed by Mr. Jack Lowe who is the inventor of this product so and that's the mouse itself okay so mouse comes with a regular cable kind of skinny plastic you know your typical mouse cable and it also comes with a golden joint well like a typical USB joint that's golden plated I guess and um, once I install the hardware or install the software this is what shows up on the window so just give me a second let me just close my stuff here so this part here oops yikes so this one here 
There you go. There's a green button there. So see the green there? That's the once you install the driver, this is what pops up. So this Evaluant Mouse Manager version 4.0. So here I have it open for you guys to look. And you can see on top there it goes button, pointer, pointer speed, wheel, hardware, and on the next row here, brake, click, and set point setting. And I'm not sure what set point setting does because every time I press it, it opens the Logitech one. I mean, maybe they're somewhat related. Um, I don't know. I don't know how that works. And to be frank, this is actually for my dad, so I don't actually use that much. I just figured it would be nice to have a quick hands on review or overview on how the mouse works. So on the button there, you can see there's a there's a total of six buttons here, and there's actually secondary functions, whereas you press combinations of buttons involving button six. So button six is the one on the bottom here, as indicated by the picture here, which would be this one here. So button six, you can press button six plus button one for something else, button two, button three, button four for something else, totally different. So I thought it was pretty cool. I mean pretty customizable in general. Although I don't know what my dad would use it for, but well we'll see. Um I'm kinda surprised for a mouse like this, it doesn't really tell you what a DPI setting is. I guess or well, I didn't bother to look up the website to find out what the DPI is. But uh yeah, pointer speed it doesn't tell you exactly at what DPI this mouse is moving at at each of the different force setting here. So uh, can't really fo focus well on this new camera which is kind of bad but in this case it says high, mid, low and extra slow extra XL for extra low I guess so anyways that's that for the mouse and um, let's just talk about usability um, like the name suggests this is an ergonomical mouse it does hold pretty well you get basically get extended handshake motion on this mouse versus say something like a death adder where you have to hold it down like this now according to Mr. Lowe the inventor that he's saying essentially what if you hold you usually when you hold up a mouse like that you're crossing your bones you're crossing your arms bone or your waist waist bones and by holding this mouse or doing the handshake your bones don't cross and therefore there's less stress induced on your arm and therefore you're less likely to feel the fatigue associated with prolonged use on a computer so I thought it was pretty cool and I have used this mouse for let's say a couple hours now and it's not bad like it takes a while to get used to that's for sure because it's pretty oddly shaped but you know it's not bad because for one thing it's fairly light for something that's eighty dollars I expect it would be bit more heft but yeah this is very really light this is super light it's almost you know what, actually it is lighter than my death adder so that's surprising um, and you know it's fairly basic there's no uh, added weight functions there's no removable stuff re removable buttons or whatnot so fairly bare bone but you know it's the mainly the sell point for this mouse is mainly the shape right so that's the main focus and you know from that standpoint I think it's done pretty well I mean it's comfortable to use so that's for sure uh, would I buy it again for $85? probably not now that I know what the product is like $85 is just not really for me at least for me right now I don't think it's worth the purchase but yeah I think that's about conclude my overview of my quick overview of this mouse. Pretty cool, so I'll just give a quick view over it. Over that, and uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions, just give me a shout. To put it, put it under my comments, or just let me know how it works. Okay, thanks. Right.